the CT side, you got to establish some dominance early on. You got to start feeling a little bit better within the squad. And here we are, live into the pistol rounds. Heroic up one map to nothing. A win here on Ancient. Seals them a spot in the semifinals. Down, pushing up, completely blinded. And that's a nice peek, but no kill from Virtus Pro. And surely you press the issue here. Oh, Heroic waste no time, though. They go straight out onto the A bomb site. Quick flank from coming in, though. Bomb is going to get planted, but it's still only two players alive here for Heroic. This pistol round is not looking good at all for Heroic. They get the bomb plant, but that is all they will get. Not even a single kill for Heroic here on the second map. Yeah, there's a little bit of life in VP. You love to see that. That getting all the Heroic kills, on yeah, getting all the kills away from the plants and then making it real, real easy. Heroic's gonna be happy with the extra money from that bomb plant. We'll see if they want to buy here or wait one more round. That's the thing. Without any, without any kills, it makes me wonder if they want to go for the buy. Be, I mean, you'd have to go for the hero buys where somebody's just dropping AKs right for the others, and then you know it's just it's gonna be a tough one. It's not as clear cut. Whereas Heroic could go for the eco and just guarantee rifles, nades, everything they need in the following yep. round. I kind of want to see that from Heroic more than anything. That's what they're doing. There we I go. Got, I got good news for you, Semler. Here they we go. have saved their money. Play in the long game. Nice hit with the scout. Good early damage from Utility. Deep nade. You can see Heroic moving away from the explosion. And it's all down to these final two players. Virtus Pro having no problems in the second round, as you'd expect against unarmored Glocks. Yeah, OK, you played it out. You figured out where the MP9 is. I kind of wish that they were just running away from this MP9. Oh, just, nah, I want him to get after it, you know? Just go and die anywhere else on the map. Do not die to Yekinder. Don't give him bonus money. Yekinder's thinking about it, though. With a minute 15, Heroic have called a freeze, and yeah, Acadian's starting to get antsy. He's starting to think maybe they need to start rotating around here. Hopefully they can catch somebody off, and they are literally going. <laughs> it is a long mission that Heroic are going on now. Yeah, I think they're just, they might, they might just be having a chat. Or something. Yeah. There, there's no chance of winning this round. Bomb is still down all the way in mid. They're going to use Shush as a little bit of bait. He goes first with a low HP, gets killed, gives Kadian a chance. But really, it shouldn't even be that. Holding down the trigger and actually mm. a couple of dinks. It's all superficial. Kicker do doesn't come close to falling. 50 HP on him and 2 to nothing for Virtus Pro. But now, due to that second round save, the first round plant, Heroic are going to be flush with cash. Yes, they'll have the AWP for Kadian if he wants it. Going to go for AKs. Makes me think that they want to go for some more explosive plays here on this T-Sign Heroic. They have yet to pick up a kill in two rounds. That is a rare thing to see in a game of Counter-Strike. But now it is on Heroic to turn it around here. Can they do what Virtus Pro did on Mirage and, and fight back early? Stop their opponents from just totally running away with it and establishing dominance right out the gates. Now it's on Heroic to take the fight to VP as this Molotov clears up. We'll get that presence in mid. And Flit, he's been smoked out. Do they really go this quickly, though, Heroic? They're setting themselves up for success here. Flit, though, with the flank, is going to catch down out in the open in the middle. They know what's coming now. Onto this A bomb site. James trying to play the angle is going to get caught. And now it's on Kicker. The boost doesn't work. Shush, you can't pull a fast one on him like that. Oh, that has to be a kill if you're Kicker. That has to be a frag, because if you get that quick enough, then you can spin over to the bomb site. Maybe you add one more onto it. Maybe you make, maybe you keep the round in reach for your other teammates. As Buster has a little bit of a flank, but nobody going for this. Heroic going to get their first run on the board here in round number three off the back of this bomb plant. And that is, well, exactly how it played out on Mirage. So both of these teams, man, they are just going to trade back and forth, it feels like. We saw a chunk. It's rare to see now. It really feels like the tendency these days is to chain rounds together where one team will get a string and then the other team kind of comes into it and starts taking Yeah, it's that back. losing bonus builds up. Yep. Yeah, and then it just kind of flips back and forth that way after four or five rounds. But the beginning of both maps have turned into a little bit of a bloodbath. So now we have to see, can Heroic continue that or is it going to be Virtus Pro fighting back? With two players surviving, they have a couple of rifles, but it still means that somebody has to force up on the side of Virtus Pro, and that's never fun. It means somebody's going to be a little bit limited what they have to bring to the table here. A lot of turn in here from VP, making sure that they have everything that they need. Something like, yeah, Flit's going to get the short end of the stick. Fair enough, somebody had to. Loads of mollies in mid already to kick things off, and Heroic kind of get, I mean, just Molotovs everywhere all across the map. There's nowhere safe to stand right now. Ooh. Decent nade. Here we go. Buster's going to peek down with the flashbang, but no one oh. from Heroic at the ramp. Another follow-up nade, and actually not a whole lot of damage from any of the HEs tossed out by Virtus Pro's defense, but a lot of bodies here for Heroic. 
they're pretty committed at the moment to this side of the map. And maybe it's waking their way into clear Jaguar. I mean, this really is the new B Inferno, right? Banana Inferno is just... You got to get those nades, timings down to dodge the damage. You're kind of hanging out outside of it, just making sure you're not eating a cheese. While well, VP, they want to commit the nades here to just do exactly what they've done so far, which is slow Heroic down. Although now Heroic can get real close. And I feel like they have to start making a play because they've had zero presence anywhere else on the map. So pretty soon they're going to have to go. Well, they showed that there was going to be a, the, some aggression in towards Cave. Okay. Coming from that direction, but now they've backed off to head over towards ramp. Here come the smokes being tossed out by Shush. Going to have plenty of players coming up this ramp to attack into the position. Buster's forced out by the Molotov, and then he's blinded, entirely blinded. But Flitz got two through smoke, and Yekendar still here as well. Beautiful lineup from him. Yekendar, of course. What drops to Tessus? Three on three now. And Heroic, can they get the bomb planted? They can, and that starts the clock ticking for Virtus Pro. Pressure is on them now to get this going, and yep, Kicker at the 40-second mark started flanking from A to get that info. Now he's going to be the one coming in here to be the hero for Virtus Pro going into this retake. Flit with that smoke clearing up, and there's a window of opportunity here, and yes, he snuffs some Tessus is out, Kadium too, and it's all on Shush, and this is a tall order. This is a big ask. 1v3, so hard to pull off a retake like this. Think it he has it, not quite, and oh, oh! what a spray transfer! So sick, Flint just takes one to the dome, but that's it, he can't save the round. Yeah, he's way off on the spam mark, but that would have been something special to see if he transfers over and then transfers back. Very, very close, good kills from Flint, the deciding factor of the round. Two frags in a situation where you don't expect him to get a single one. Brilliant stuff from Flint, and yeah. That is outrageous. That's brilliant. Three to one. AWP out in the hands of Jame, Op, and Kadian as well. That I'm just I'm just really enjoying that one right now, playing it over and over again right now, because that is so sick. But we're gonna get into the action here soon as Heroic once again showing a bit of presence now towards the A side of things. Kadian bold his brass out of the open, finds a shot, and his teammate as well. That's the A side open. They were doing this on Mirage too, like a two-man hit squad to take up an extremity of the map and attack into the position. This time it, it yields such good results. Virtus Pro scrambling to get back into this, but the round has slowed it down. Flip might have an opportunity. Smoked off for the moment, so protecting himself from mid and the bomb's gonna get planted. Kadian has a deep line with the AWP. And there it is, yeah, as Flit tries to cheat his way through that smoke, it's not going to happen. Buster has caught one out, though, and yep, always crouching in that corner. It's so dangerous. But, oh, man, that is such a sick play from Heroic. I'm really appreciating this aggression. The op paired up with the rifle, they can do so much damage so quickly. And now Buster, does he manage to hold on to this? If he takes a third rifle off of Heroic, he... This is going to get expensive for Heroic. It's not like Heroic have got mountains of cash either. Tessus eventually hunts him down. But that was a lot of money spent by Heroic in that round. Second round on the board now for Heroic on the T side of Ancient. Do we get attack timeout? No, we do not. A little bit early in the day, perhaps for Virtus Pro to try and slow things down, but they are taking their time about it. And I think they only called one on Mirage as well yeah. in that loss. They didn't really, they weren't really in the mood to have any kind of uh, crazy discussions in between rounds, get the coach involved. Three to two, and really only the AWP to talk about some upgraded pistols. Shush is going to take real estate in middle. Flashes through the smoke, first one. Oh, he messed it up. Yeah, he did make it through. James got the opening kill. That's actually massive. That's down at B ramp. Shush is going to try and make his place. Smoke clears. Yekendar's here, but he can't control his aim. That's a big frag to find for Shush. That's that adrenaline spike. You're just sitting there, minding your own business. All of a sudden, there's a guy in the smoke, and uh, you're spraying and praying. Didn't go his way that time. Four on four, and again, Jane with the hero AWP. Pistols for everybody else on the side of Virtus Pro in this forced buy for VP. Now you're just hoping against hope right now for VP if uh, that AWP could be in the right place at the right time. Heroic have yet to commit anywhere, and with a minute on the clock, they still have a bit of time to maneuver with here. It's looking like we'll get the gamble coming in here for Virtus Pro. They didn't see anything or hear anything towards B, and that seems to get them thinking that this is going to be an A hit. Oh, sees that up close. Can do serious damage. Sure enough, finds the one. Full blind, though. That's going to be tough, but there's James taking stout. Yeah, this is huge. This is actually massive. Virtus Pro's done a great job. Good work with the CZ. Good mobility from James. He's been dynamic, and he's getting involved, but 
Ooh, heroic pull. They're gonna try and slip the net. This is like the, the biggest opening, the biggest gap in the Virtus Pro defense. Although the flashbang, I don't know if Buster was able to hear that. Certainly the footsteps are heard now by Jame. Another one added to the kill count, backing away for a new angle. And Kadian in a desperate scenario. Jame just barely misses it, but he's happy to, oh no, oh no. Missed opportunities and now Kadian has a chance, but he gets scared off by the bullet. He heard it whiz past. He needs to stick this plan at some point. He's not able to pull anyone out in the open and the round is done. Or is it Flit coming from behind? They're gonna let him live. They wanna take him down after the timer and he just gets away. That is actually very critical for Kadian. Oh, but he saves that AWP and denies Virtus Pro the save of James Op. So it's a big round win for Virtus Pro. That's crazy. The hero Op actually working out even if James doesn't get that kill on Kadian. He pulls Kadian off the bomb plant. And all of a sudden, it's a one round for Virtus Pro, but still denying the save at the end. That whole AWP, man, that James wishes he had that back. Sick yeah, to see or he wish here. he got the kill and was able to step out of the fire. That was the thing. He had to get out of there, but man, a couple missed shots. Timeout called by Virtus Pro, their first of the game. Mm -hmm. And they want to talk things over, losing weaponry. And now, I mean, that op was so influential. James was great with it. He's six and three. Now they're not going to have access to it, as you mentioned, denying the save and not having the money to rebuy. That's the thing. So you're just going to go for rifles across the board, essentially, and just hope that you're going to have enough here to have a strong buy Virtus Pro. So even all things considered, VP, they get the round win. That doesn't really extend a lead for them at all. Heroic are still very much a threat going into this next round, and Heroic are going to be fired up. Well, they're going to have two MAC-10s on the board also. So once they do pull the trigger, there's going to be a very mobile, very fast and very aggressive tip of the spear. Kadian looking for pushes down mid with the op, and he's gonna join up with his teammates. So four players towards A, just a single lone player at the B bomb site. That's gonna be Tess's. And unfortunately for Virtus Pro, it's only Kicker to defend this site. And when that smoke clears, and actually Heroic's just gonna go straight through it. Yep, Heroic not respecting that at all. They're gonna find Kicker. There's the MAC-10, instantly traded. Jane gets caught, and this is Tess's just Trying to fight the good fight in mid, Buster gonna overwhelm him with the help of Yakinder. Three on three retake, but the bomb has now been planted. It's a question of what Virtus Pro can get away with here. A couple of MP9s and an AK. It's not ideal to go for the retake with these. They will be hard pressed. They're just exactly hoping if they can find some guns to work with. Kadian with the whiff though. That hurts as VP now can work through. He doesn't even get the info, so no confirmation that just where Virtus Pro are coming from in this. Stavin though. Going to fall, Buster looking for it. Kadian with the no scope. Oh, oh, not gonna hit the 180, but still, Shush is alive to lock this down. Yakinder is gonna be hard pressed to get in here, and I don't think he's gonna have time. Shush realizing it as well. Yakinder has to back off, and it's a round on the board for Heroic. Oh, actually coming through the smoke. There goes Yekindar at the end. And Kadian loves it. it. Yeah, he's loving it. And why not? Good performance from Heroic. That's everything ripped out of the hands of Virtus Pro. They have no money. That so is so important now. And that's going to be so demoralizing for Virtus Pro. Some of these rounds, they have to feel like they're just getting robbed. And this is, this is actually so great for Heroic, just considering the fact that Refresh, he was phenomenal on Mirage. He started out very slow, one and six. Stown, zero and seven. But you, you've got Virtus Pro into an early reset, and now you can kind of play this game and play your teammates back into it. You've kind of found a way to be able to keep in, in, in step with Virtus Pro. They're not getting out to any kind of a league with those two underperformances at this stage in the game. And you just give them time to settle down and get into it. Slow pace from Heroic. Kadian looking in mid with the MAC-10. Virtus Pro pretty much fully invest everything they possibly can. Buster, but I believe, saving for an off to drop over towards Jame. But Virtus Pro have the right read. A three man stack here at the A bomb site. And so this is still, this could potentially work out for VP, although Stalin's gonna kick things off with a kill on Buster. Kaden Hunt, oh wow, they're just rolling right through him. James trying to get clever. We'll see if he can get anything out of this. He's lost his teammate, takes Tessus in mid, could get away with this AK. That'd be a nice save. It's a 1v3. I mean, if he were to get in here quick, there could be a chance of spoiling things. But as the bomb gets planted, I think now he's gonna start wondering. If it's worth it or not, could be good to just back off and hold on to the rifle for the next round and hope that you can hand it over to your kinder or somebody to make the difference with it. I mean, just to highlight things real quick, going into this first half, unlike Mirage, where it's very even between both like both sides right now, this is still a pretty CT-sided map. 
all things considered. And so VP should be in the lead, and every round that Heroic picks up on this T side is so valuable for Heroic. Yeah. It's actually, it's actually massive. It's great to see them tie this up. Great to see them not take too much damage as well to build up their own economy. And VP is going to have to definitely sit the next round out. Yeah. So it should be a little bit easier, actually. Lay out the red carpet. Heroic have a chance here to take the lead going into round number nine. I, this is vindication as far as Heroic are concerned because there was a lot of speculation as to whether or not these players would be able to perform on the main stage here at the Major. You know, once you get onto land, and this is land now. There's no getting around this. You're in front of the fans. You're in front of the audience live on a stage. This is Counter-Strike LAN play, and yet here they are performing. Terrific stuff from the Danes. And well, it's nice to see them, too, like being aggressive. Like, I still don't feel like we're getting the same Virtus Pro we saw in some of the previous stages. I still feel like they, they feel a little flat to me. Heroic, on the other hand, being aggressive on the T side, still pushing on the CT side. Still being assertive across the map, and that's a nice opening shot on Acadia. And he's brought down to 46 HP. But again, that's not going to shy him away from anything. All five players from Heroic at this B bomb site. And Virtus Pro know it. There's no utility spent in mid, no presence at the A bomb site. It's a five on five here, but again, just pistols. Yeah. We've kind of seen this before as well. For Heroic, we're really not showing much towards the mid, towards anywhere else on the bomb. And there's James. There's that AK coming in. Refresh out of the fight. Man advantage for Virtus Pro. James trying to put as much pressure as possible on him. Yes, that's just running with a smoke out or a, a knife out. What was that? Stout finally going to get a kill going this way for Heroic. And the bomb is committed to the bomb site now. There's no backing off for Heroic. They have to get this bomb planted. Yeah, I think Katie, and I think they're waiting for Katie to clear out towards Jaguar, but he goes down as well. Tough angle for him to deal with. James still with the rifle in hand. Bomb is going to get planted, and there's no boost here or anything that caused so much damage earlier. And Heroic is just playing AMAP. They're waiting for the peaks. Wow. They're waiting for Virtus Pro to take these fights, and they're loving it. Winning all of them so far. Kicker down the stretch. They now know his position, and the 1v2 gets so, so difficult for Kicker now. Get out of here. They're going to play it this way? Oh, yeah. Just bail out. Just bail and go? No, okay, yeah. They're, they're going to pull a fast one. They're trying to make it seem like they're going somewhere else. And now, well, it's all on Kicker. Does he realize what's going on? They're going to hear the footsteps as well. They know exactly where this guy is. AK at the bottom of that ramp, though. And Stavon now can watch for his teammate. They know exactly where Kicker is. There's no element of surprise. Stavon covering the ball plan. I'm wondering if Kicker thinks he's like going to be going for this retake. Oh, no, dude. okay. He's just going to save the gun. <laughs> I was wondering if he was like, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to A. Yeah, he got a little bit juked. Still yeah. has no idea it's at the B bomb site. He won't find that out until a little bit later on today. It, it, when that demo review this is going to sting just a little bit. But he gets out of it with an AK, right? So that hero AK is going to survive another round. And after this round of eco, we should have uh, VP going for the full. And so Heroic, well, they're going to take the lead here on the T side after what was a bit of a chaotic round. Got to give it to James. He did do his best with that AK to get some impact. Getting two kills like that was solid. It just wasn't enough when the rest of his teammates only had pistols. Yeah, four of the last five now going to Heroic. <laughs> and ever since the guns came out, it's a it's a five to two streak for Heroic. So Virtus Pro gonna have to figure some things out how they want to play this, but they're happy to have the AWP back in James' hands. He's nine and five, tied with Flit at nine and six. Heroic side of things, it's Shush at nine and Kadian at eight. Shush continuing to be the rock upon uh, which Heroic can lean. And well, I mean, the analysts were wondering, were Heroic going to be able to show us what they're capable of on this T side? Were they going to be able to get in here and just take control? And as you just pointed out, ever since they got rifles in their hands, it's been Heroic round after round. VP now are going to be hard pressed to come up with anything. There's already five rounds on the board on a T side of Ancient for Heroic. They're going to be feeling good about this so far. And now we go back to the spread, double in, okay, double in a house. And do you think that this is just going to be them kind of waiting for that info push from VP? I think so, at least for the moment. And remember, they have like, I think Kadian's just going to try and set Shush up in for a play. You have Refresh and Tess is just waiting outside of the A bomb set. I imagine that bomb eventually is going to bail out, go to the other side of the map to meet up with them, allowing Shush and Stown to just pressure this B site, make Virtus Pro think the attack is going to come from the other side of the map. That's cool, leaving a smoke behind for a teammate to line it up. You can see, yep, shush. He's got both smokes now. This is what I was wondering, right? Are you just going to have a guy who's going to know all the lineups and everybody just drops their smokes for him? He throws them all. 
Well, you can throw two from that position so quickly. It just it, it lets you have one more one more player at the point of attack. Good kill from Jame. They try and walk in, and Virtus Pro's having none of it for the moment. Jame is going to get a follow-up chance, and he's nailed that. He even got to take his time with it. Yeah, the thing that Heroic aren't unaware of right now is that both players on that B bomb site are within the smoke radius, so nobody shut out. They have full info. They haven't seen anybody. They haven't heard anybody. And now Heroic are getting picked off one at a time. So the strategy that Heroic have elected to go for, where they want to get that massive smoke wall going and try and deny information to VP, VP are on the wrong side of that smoke wall. As far as Heroic are concerned, VP have all the info. Yeah, that was ambitious from Heroic. I, I, I guess they might have thought that those smokes over at the B bombsite and like a, the minimal presence that they actually provided was going to pull someone away from the A bombsite, but that's not happening without a kill. Virtus Pro don't budge, and James happy to take some freebies with the AWP. He's now up to 11 kills, and we're all tied at five. All tied, and uh, no timeout taken by either team. It's important as well. I mean, that's that's around where all five players from Virtus Pro survive. So heroic go for like a little bit of a more spread out, like a little bit of a probing strategy. No kind of commitment. They don't get any trades. That's a lot of money that builds up for VP. Right on through that smoke though. No time wasted at all. Busted with the underhanded flash over the top. Not gonna find anybody. And now, well, heroic are going back to the well. Although Shush is on that lurk, the rest of heroic are gathered up, ready to brawl, looking for a fight. Someone has to be careful, and shush, that is the fight right there. Flit taking him out already with the headshot, and now Heroic is hoping to be able to roll their way onto this B-bomb site. Buster is going to be in the critical position here. He's got Yekinder to back him up. And Heroic, with all this time that they are taking, it is allowing for another body to rotate over here for Virtus Pro. Now Flit's joined the party, giving up mid. And Heroic, they're at risk of having the door closed in their faces. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. Tassus is going to wait inside the smoke. Flit has now joined up and reinforced the B defense. Jame can be there pretty quick as well. Flashed it in, and Yekindar's got a double. Completely blind and no chance of fighting back. Tessis, oh, a couple stellar trades. Beautiful headshot, but man, Buster's been chilling here this whole time, and there's no way that they'll realize he's in this position. And he's even letting them by as well. Doesn't immediately commit to that. Refresh now knows that he's got one on the left, and he has to assume that he's got one on the right. There's the headshot. Knows how oh. to get the lineup and the double kill for Refresh. He sees the flank coming as well. Kickert is going to walk right, right into away. it. Refresh. Monster round. Six kills on the board on the T side. Six rounds on the board on the T side for Refresh. That is one of the sickest Deagle rounds of the major. What a badass, not even using the all perfect shots. Refresh gets style points. And that's going to drive the team absolutely mental. Timeout called from Heroic. Yeah, they probably just need to calm down themselves. Kadian coming over for the hug, I assume. Dude, talk about hero plays once again from Refresh. Second highest rated player for Heroic coming into this. They're all so good on this team, but that guy, he just keeps standing out. Monster round after monster round. This is that, that I mean, look, that, that, this has got to be just a kick, a punch to the gut, whatever you want to call it for Virtus Pro. They had such a clean round previously. They had a three on one, poised to take control of this entire half. Heroic is running out of money, and that one round changes everything for this half. Heroic now have a chance to break Virtus Pro late into the first half, and man, they'll just start running away with it from there. Six to five, Flit takes some damage, no kills exchanged as he tucks into a corner and makes himself a small target. Yeah, that's gonna be a gutting round. Gutting round for Virtus Pro. This is it, if they lose this round Virtus Pro, they are going to be in dire straits. Heroic, putting the pressure on right now. You need rounds like that to win though. If you're gonna hoist that trophy, you have to come up with monster rounds the way the refresh just did. And Heroic, that is so satisfying to see if you're a Danish fan. Kadian leading the way. Three players to take over Jaguar. A oh, pinch no. towards this B bomb site, but the aggression, the timing of it is everything. Oh, refresh goes down. There's still one more player. Shush is just waiting, but he's got the bomb. He can't be the aggressor. He needs to wait for his teammates to come through. James got the off angle. Flashes out. He's got the timing anyways. Blinded, forced back, but no one from Heroic can do anything with it. Brilliant shot to kick things off already. We got two players down for Heroic. 40 seconds on the clock. Bomb starting to back off. Buster playing 
on the edge of the smoke, catches Stavin. And now, Shoshin Kadian, what do you do? 30 seconds on the clock. You've used all your utility. You have a single smoke on Kadian. You can still make something happen here, but it's looking like they might actually just back off. They don't have any money in the bank. These Brutus, rounds have been so expensive. Virtus Pro's actually done a really good job when Heroic are playing the much more slower paced, slower paced rounds. I mean, if it, if it weren't for the refresh 1v3, uh, you'd see a little bit more results out of it. But some of those rounds of Heroic is starting out a bit more aggressive. Some of those really fast paced plays towards the A bomb site have thrown them off the, Virtus Pro, the Virtus Pro defense. I wonder if Heroic's going to go back to that at some point. I expect there to be at least one round for Heroic in these final three where they change the pace and they go pretty quick. There's yeah. got to be at least one of them in here somewhere. Would love to see it. But uh, that takes uh, testicular fortitude. And, well, I mean, pretty sure Heroic have got it. Pretty sure they're going to be able to come up with it here. Kadian knows when to turn it on. Might be this round. Yeah, they have the alt, but uh, two Tech Nines, a Deagle on Tesses. Shush has the AK, but with some of these diminished weapons, they might be more than willing to take a risk like that, try and take some kind of control, try and go for an early trade, and just see what comes from it. Towards the B-bomb site we go. I love it. Don't show any respect for that smoke. Just get right on in there. Start applying the pressure, force and Buster to go for a bit of a spray, but the quick rotation coming in here from Virtus Pro. They sense this, Moses. They know that Heroic are here to rumble. Four players on the B-bomb site. There's also no nades in mid. There's also no presence at the A-bomb site. So yeah. at the moment, VP is feeling very comfortable. Kickert is just lined up with some utility to allow Buster to peek down ramp, and he sees nothing as well. The only thing showing presence is this spam here from Kadian and some nades being thrown over the wall, but it's all a fake. Oh, it's pulled slid off. Actually, I think he, he might have spotted a body because he's rotated over towards the A-bomb site. It's all on Jame. Good first shot. Oh, and he gets a collateral as well. Flint with the triple. Kadian is the only one alive for Heroic. He can fight it out, but it's a 1v5, and it is unlikely. Jame catches him, and that is going to be another perfect round for Virtus Pro. That's the second time we've seen Heroic try and bust out a fake at that B bomb site by just throwing utility and not actually committing any bodies to it. And that's the second time it's been absolutely demolished. Virtus Pro aren't having any of it. You just see Flit freaking out. He goes for that jump in mid, and it's just like everybody's peeling off a B for Virtus Pro. They see what's coming. I was really curious about that timing. I thought he was going to bite on it initially and go to the B bomb site, but he knew exactly what was happening. Perfect rotation from Flit and a good shot from Jame. Again, showing no respect for that smoke. This time around, uh, they get tagged by that HE, though. Tessa's taking a bit. Flit now. He's in a bit of a, yeah, exactly, a spicy situation. Maybe thinking about having a way out if he needs to to fall back. I like it, though. You, ooh, yeah, you, have, you, to, go. you have to know it's low economy. Why not? Why not be aggressive in this scenario? Kadian goes down. Flit's going to hold his position. Jame dinked up. Now he's going to be forced away, but the M4 is still here to contend with. And yeah, Flit might, he's, you can see him considering the smoke. He knows he can be sandwiched at any point, but confident in the, in, in, in the better weaponry. And now he's going to back off. And that's a smart move here. He's so low on health. You don't want to donate anything here to Heroic going into the last round of the half. What you want to do is utterly smash Heroic in this round, keep everybody alive on the side of VP, have all the money to work with, and put Heroic in a tough spot. Heroic, though, slowly working their way onto the bomb site. Refresh taking point. He's going to try and open it up here, and you can't do with the triple. Buster, well, not the triple. They, they split it. They share. Yeah. yeah. Perfect crossfire. There Everyone gets two. It's, it's all good. Last round of the first half, and Virtus Pro is definitely going to take the lead. Eight to six. Heroic just trying to add a little cherry on top here oh, at the end. Shout out to Sato. Got the fan in the audience. And everybody here in Stockholm watching some CS. First time in a couple of years now. But we're live with the Major Live from Stockholm. First best of three of the day. First quarterfinal here between Virtus Pro and Heroic. Heroic up one map. And this is the last round of this first half. And we get to see what Heroic have in store for us. They've changed it up a little bit here. They've left behind a man. Sacrificial lamb over on that B site. It's all it's all about getting past the first shot from Jame. If you can make him miss that first shot and you can close the gap, especially with the MAC-10 in the hands of Kadian, although he's setting up the utility, so he's going to be further back. He's going to be coming in a little bit late with the MAC-10. Jame, oh, pulls a Molotov out. They might want to beat that. And yeah, indeed they will. Moving right past it. New angle for Jame. A missed opportunity. Needs to connect, and that's a good flick down, but in a good trade from Sound. And now the A-bomb site's in a lot of trouble. Kickert's trying to play around to the end of the smoke, and he's doing it perfectly. Only one kill. Important trade, and refresh is being put into, put into play in Donut.
And he's gonna catch him completely out of position here in just a moment. Flit though does not overextend. That opens it up. Refresh the left. The element of surprise is gone. And now it is all on Stan with hardly any health to speak of. He's got 50 seconds. He's got time on the clock, but he has to hit the shots. And it's not going to be easy because now you've got Buster on the rotate as well. The longer this goes, it gives more time for Buster to get in position. And the bomb is out in the open. This is a nightmare for Stan. Heroic have already had one round go their way. Refresh dug him out. Now Stalin can come up with the goods here. With 28 seconds left, he's assuming exactly, he's assuming that somebody's got the angle on that bomb already. And yep, he's just gonna have to jump across. Gets the shot, not gonna have it. Oh! oh! Takes split. 18 seconds left. Needs to pick up this bomb and he needs to hope that Buster's gonna make a mistake. Can Buster actually step into the open here? No, decides to stick it. This is how it's done. Stick the bomb, pros don't fake. And now it's on Buster and Stan. Head to head, 1v1, Stan with the angle. Buster with the right eye though, could work his way in here. Who's gonna hit the shot first? And Stan coming through. Another clutch for Heroic to end the half. Stan coming up with the goods. <laughs> and that, he lets out a little bit of chuckle. I think that's the pressure. I think that's the adrenaline just leaving him. That's incredible stuff. Two clutches in the second half, absolutely, or excuse me, in the first half, absolutely miraculous for Heroic with low HP in this situation as well. It's not even like they have anybody, like that's the thing about Heroic, the power of Heroic, it's just spread across the whole team, the kills. But even then, it's not, it, nobody's really taking it over. Whereas on the other side of things, if it weren't for Flint and Jane, Virtus Pro right now would be struggling. Those two are doing the majority of the heavy lifting right now. Yeah, great games from Flint, 17 and eight. Jame is 15 and seven. Actually, no one from Heroic's in double digits. I, I mean, look, you want to talk about thin margins, a one versus three and a one versus two, and that's the difference between eight, seven, and 10, <laughs> five. Absolutely mental what Heroic's able to do in that first half. And now they go into the favored half of this map, CT side. Heroic get to be on the receiving end. Virtus Pro now, we'll see what they're capable of here on this T side. Refresh already out and hunting for info. They're ready for this, though, and he's going to get caught in the box. There's no way he's going to survive that one. Yakinder takes him. Tessas, though, trying to fight it back, and he, he gets the fade away. Survives to fight another day. 4v4 now in the pistol. Yeah, good they didn't chase him down either because Stound was waiting. Stound was waiting to help out as Tessas retreated. Kadian and Shush have both cheated over towards mid. They can be at this B-bomb site very, very quickly. And Heroic is just accepting the fact that the B-bomb site is going to be under pressure. Smokes are down. Ooh, out in the open. That's a miscommunication. Sound had no idea Cave was open. He goes down for free. They can't push the issue. Here comes Tessis. Wants one more, but Buster puts him down quick. Oh, and they're just collecting pistol rounds right now, Virtus Pro. They make it look so good. Kadian with the shot. Oh, freaking out. Not quite knowing where that's coming from. Shows down to the picture, though, leaves it all on Kadian's shoulders, and he just has to hit nothing but headshots. And he is not known for his headshots. Buster keeps his cool, gets the job done. 9-7 to seven VP, another pistol round win for them. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's kind of, uh, I mean, not the way they'll think of it now, but, I mean, looking at it, if, you, if you're VP winning this match, I mean, first step, obviously, if you win both pistol rounds, that's a huge benefit. They have to convert the second round still, which we have obviously know can be dangerous. But you'll be happy with that if you're VP. At least for the moment, five deagles out for Heroic. <laughs> five deagles. It's the story of uh, Zia's go right now. All the deeds. They're pushing, they're pushing early at the A-bomb site. Sound and shush have gotten aggressive and have set things up. Now there's a timing at some point. If VP slow play this too much, that push is going to move forward and be able to grab information, be able to cut the map and shrink it so the defense knows where to be positioned. Kicker was watching for this flank as well. But with a minute 20 on the clock now, Virtus Pro is starting to consolidate. Fresh smoke goes down to block off that B bomb site. And Sound just making a little bit of noise over here. But yeah, it is still Heroic going for the gamble. And do you think, Moses, that this is a... I mean, it is a gamble from Heroic, but do you think it's them trying to hold on to utility and, and gear for the next round? If it hits B, then they still have four guys alive on A with gear? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's mostly so they can have intel, which they've just received by pushing. Now everyone's going to back away. You have four players there at one point just in case the attack is coming. Now your players at the B bomb site can be a little bit passive behind these smokes. You don't have to do anything crazy because you have Stown coming in on a flank. You have Shush who's going to be able to flank. You can get lucky. One kill through the smoke would be huge as that bomb gets planted. 
Now it is all on this. Now Shush with a headshot on Flynn. Oh, Stavon hits the timing as well. Here's an HG. Gotta force him into the open. Hello. Stavon takes Buster. Two man advantage for Heroic going into this retake. Kicker feeling the heat. Jane has found Shush in the meantime, and they are getting the kills. Heroic, it's still possible for them to make this retake happen. Maximum pressure on, though. And there's the smoke. Now are they wondering, are, is the bomb plan happening or not? Yeah, no, they take so much time. They're so patient with it, Virtus Pro. Not over committing to the situation. They let Heroic show their hand. Yeah, it's tough for those Deagles. I mean, great kills on the ramp, great kill on the flank from Shush as well. But those Deagles, man, it's, it's tough to take over that, that part of the map with the AK-47s. Virtus Pro had a lot of safety, just got to chill. It hit some clean shots. Even could have spammed through the boards if they were really worried about what was going to be a 10 second defuse. So 10 to 7, VP get both pistols, they convert both second rounds. They got to be feeling good about this. Yeah, it's just uh, now it's wondering, making me wonder in the pistol rounds, can they actually convert past this heroic? have been very good, but uh, this should be another round. A hard eco coming up here. Stavon, it's so hard, he doesn't even have a pistol. He's going to knife him. Well, Kadian caught two grenades. <laughs> That's no fun. <laughs> One for each hand. Look, Juan, no hands. Five on That's dark. <laughs> Five on four for VP. And they should know they're up against pretty weak pistols, unarmored pistols, so this MAC-10 can really sing, really build up some cash, but a good trade from Refresh to make sure that doesn't happen. Still, firmly in control of Virtus Pro, and they even have Buster, who has somehow walked all the way through and around the B-bomb site. Just opens that one up for business. <laughs> Somehow now Stavon is just going to be kind of left over here. And yeah, there it is. He's got the Zeus. Hoping for somebody to close the distance and get a good tasing. Shush, if he could get uh, some bonus money here with these SMGs, that would be pretty sweet. But uh, it's not going to happen. And yeah, that pretty much snuffs this round as far as Heroic are concerned. Stavon right now just hoping he can close the distance. Doesn't even get the kill. Eight kills for Kakert. Nobody saw that. Yeah, that's that unfortunate one where the, uh, the model, everything, it just all aligns to make it impossible for you to actually get the clutch. So, fans here in Stockholm ready to watch some CS. And, uh, well, of course, I think a lot of them are here to cheer for NIP in the next quarterfinal coming up later tonight. But we are in it, the thick of it here for Heroic because this is what they've been holding on for so far. Rifles, and now they have the AWP, they have the grenades, and you can see how their protocol shapes up here in mid. Instant aggression immediately here from Refresh. When he knows that his teammate is here, and he loses the duel. Stavon, though, is going to be able to drop that HE. That saves the day. Without that, it would be even more difficult here for Heroic to fight back in the round. Yeah, this is awkward. This is this round's gonna slow down. It's about to hit a wall. We're gonna get a lull in the action. As Jame and Yekendar seem like they wanted to fall back. You don't say. And have changed its mind. Changed their mind. Yekendar is pushing up now. Three defenders here for Heroic. A four-round lead for Virtus Pro. This is a long time for Heroic to have to be patient. Especially given their uh, their inclination to push for information to get out there and take a bit of that map. But Stavon, man, he is really waiting on this one. Is Yekinder going to get a hand, or is he just seriously going to sit here and wait? They're in this standoff. As that smoke gets lined up, Stavon, he heard the pin get pulled, and yep, multiple nades. Going to spot him, but he just shrinks away, decides not to take the fight. And now Tessus is going to be here to hold the line. Three players here for Heroic, and now it's action time. First Pro pushing up onto the bomb site. Tessus trades one for one. Shush, however, falls short. Kickered with a double to open up the bomb site, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Oh, spam through. I think they even know they, they knew Stan was here anyways, even before that spam came in. Now he's kind of got to fight just to survive. They can still go for this. Two on three. There is a kit in Stan's hands, and he's here. Flashbang out. Kickert waiting just behind the smoke. And Stan has at least gotten his way out to the first pillar, but that's where it should end. Good kill. Jame now on the ramp. Kadian has a smoke. He can actually block them off entirely. This is going to get sketchy. If he can provide just enough cover, that'd be massive. Stout has the kit. Spray coming in, no connection. And Kadian stepping up to the plate. They need to get on the ball. Kadian's got one, and there it is. The defuse is happening, and Heroic's got it. Eighth on the board. He gets the collateral with that as well. That's insane. But that's where the teamwork really comes in, where you've got a teammate to watch your back. 
Because as soon as, that's why the bomb is seen as like a third player. It's, third, it's, it's a teammate because you know that somebody has to commit to defusing that bomb. And so it's a two versus one, two versus two. It goes into a two v one. Like this time, Kavian, it works wonderfully. He gets the job done. And yeah, James just not able to come through. Tough call. I mean, that's that's great from Kadian too, because you could see he was even considering Cave. He had no idea where both players were. You can assume at least one's on the ramp. Deep Molotov from Tess's. Everything Whoa. burning across the map. Buster right now feeling like we do when the bomb goes off on this stage. It's fire and flames everywhere. He can get a pop flash. That'd be huge. That'd be huge. He lines him up. Tess's great shooting. And Kadian behind is able to pick off a third. This is perfect from Heroic. Aggressive down the ramp, and you can't ask for anything better than that from Tess's. This is the nightmare where you let that AK go, and yeah, maybe getting a bit ahead of himself there. Refresh did get flashed in, but the flash was completely ineffective, and Kaker on the hunt. Looking on, yeah, not gonna get out of there intact, and making very good use of the utility Virtus Pro. They're hunting down these Heroic players. Man, Heroic's just thrown away such a huge advantage. The follow-up push from Refresh, not able to get out of cave, and ooh, Jane got stared by a dead body. Yeah, it happens. Well, wait, everyone's a little jumpy up there. Happens to all of us. But yeah, it's tense. You do not, it's, it's, with, with how fast these players are, instant hesitation will cost you, and so Jane kind of gives away the game, because with 35 seconds left, he made noise, and that is going to let Heroic know that BP are still around here. And you can see from the positioning now from Shush, this is it. Heroic knows what is coming. Smokes are going to go down. And Virtus Pro, they need to crack open this bomb site. What a wild situation to be in. A two on two after how this opened. A nice flank. It's a perfect timing for Shush. They have no idea. James going to turn the corner. Oh, and he's shut down. Great shot from Shush. And Kicker, everything to do. Impeccable. Yeah, Kicker now, he's got to play that bomb. He knows where Heroic have to go. They have to come to him. If he can hit this first shot, he's trying to play the angle. Going to spot the shoulder of Kadian. Sure enough, gives it away. And he knows where Shush is coming from. Sees the shadow on the floor. Doesn't get the kill, though. Shush shuts him down. Kadian and Shush making the retake happen for Heroic. And now Heroic, they're not quite online yet. They keep having so few players surviving these rounds that they don't have that much bank to work with. But they're getting rounds on the board, and that's what matters most. Two in a row now for Heroic. Yeah, this is this is a, this has been a tough comeback into this game for Heroic from that four-round deficit. Both of those coming down to just two players surviving. Both of them plants over to Virtus Pro, which gives them plenty of money. And Virtus Pro, Virtus Pro playing it smart with their economy, dropping down to Tech Nines and a Mac Ten on four players. They allow him to buy in the next round as that losing bonus builds. Oh, here we go. B rush. Thing of beauty. They eat an aid. It's dropped at their feet. It's huge. Molotov as well, but they're not stopping. Tess is with one. Tess is with two, and he delivers again. He is spectacular at the B bomb site for the moment. And now Stout is put into play, and that's easy mop up. 11 to 10 now. Talk about starting to develop some momentum here. The Danes are starting to take off. They've got. 10 rounds on the board now. They've cracked into the double digits. And Virtus Pro, after going for that buy, no bomb plants. It's going to be a hairy next round coming up here. Yeah, they really could have used the bomb plant in that round. Unfortunately, Tessis is here to shut him down again. What's that, five kills in the past two rounds of this side of the map? He's been uh, he's been great. That's the crazy thing about this team, Moses. It's just like anybody can step up at any given moment and just get multi-kills to just lock down rounds for Heroic. They're all a threat. It's amazing. And sound. Oh, beautiful pop flash, though. That catches both of them. Buster with the double. Oh, good recovery from Kadian, but still a man down. Still a really dicey situation. It's one thing to give Virtus Pro an advantage. It's one thing. Oh, my what? lord. He jumped into it. I was going to say, it's one thing to just have three defenders on this map and be spread so thin. You can see Flit has made a huge advantage, and they're cognizant of the fact. They're aware. Kaden even checking behind him, at least for the moment. A yeah. lot of gaps, a lot of holes in this defense at the moment. Hopefully we get a replay of that Kadian shot. His, his feet must have just touched the ground and instantly got that shot. That is insane. Kicker now going to catch Shush speaking for information. The Deagles is still so dangerous up close. Double body shot will do the trick. It's fine. Should, ooh, good that's kill fine, from though. Refresh. Yeah, that's everything. That makes this a little bit easier for Heroic as they've stabilized. 
especially with his smoke down. Shush is more than happy to just stall them out and chill. Yeah, look at this, though. James is just running around, making noise, stomping, trying to draw the defense back over here. But Shush is not to be fooled with two players. Oh, Jay, though, perfect. Peak catches. Kadeon has no idea, however, or now he does, with that flash going over the top. 27 seconds left, and if James can save this AWP, he's perfectly fine with this. I mean, it would be nice to get a bomb plant out of the situation, obviously, to get money for the rest of his teammates, but he literally just found the one gun on the whole map that he wants to save. Feels good to hear that again, Moses. Yeah, saving to chance of jame time in the Avicii Arena. 11 to 11. Heroics made it all the way back. Four straight. And now feeling a bit more comfortable, although they've been tested. This round was very sketchy. Good on Katie, and here we go. Just Dude. barely touches the ground. That's so nutty. Timeout called from Virtus Pro as well. They've been stumped again once the gun rounds come out in this second half. They've lost four in a row. Second, yeah, the second time I've called. And man, it feels like these guys really have to start feeling the heat before they're willing to try and slow it down. 23 kills on Jame and 10 deaths. 20 kills on Flit and 15 deaths. Phenomenal right. games being played on the heroic side of things. Obviously some huge clutches in that first half, but it's a much more spread affair. 15 kills on Tess as the top fragger. Jame the showman as well. So far, also known as The Showman with that AWP. He does hit the flick. He, he does hit those shots. They're crazy. But uh, he also uh, just bails out of the show. So you never know what you're going to get with James. One thing is for certain, though, he's going to be trying to find this kill and trying to punish this aggression from Heroic. Heroic, once again, straight down mid, applying maximum pressure to Virtus Pro. They don't want to let Virtus Pro get comfortable at all. When you're coming out of a tactical timeout, if they can stop VP short, that would be brilliant for Heroic. How long does Kadian stay here, though? because it's going to be tough for him to feel comfortable evacuating. Actually, look how much pressure is being put on the A-bomb side. This kill, oh, there, oh my god, Yekendar's on point. A-bomb side has been lost, but Virtus Pro have the bomb in Buster's hands, and it's so slow to follow up and get into the action. That's a long time for Jame and Flit to have to hold on to things. It's so sick, though, refresh with the off-angle, looking over the smoke like that. They never expected it, BP, Yekendar. Oh, gets his head taken off by Tessis. That is a huge kill. Now you can't even get into the bomb site, although there is going to be a chance. They don't know the Buster's rotated back, and now Tessus has opened the door. And this was a this was a this was an odd round for VP to have so much success towards the A bomb site, but never able to actually feel comfortable in holding on to it. The bomb being on the other side of the map entirely after that fast-paced opening, and Buster's just kind of chilling. Heroic's more than happy to let him have the site. And they'll all converge. He's going to have players coming from every different angle. He gets a bomb plant out of that. That's a winning uh, situation, at least. Finds one headshot to kick things off. 1v3. There's the second refresh. Heroic just inching forward one at a time. That's exactly what Buster wants in this situation. Just a series of duels. This time, however, it looks like they're going to buddy up and they're going to just go for the big swing. Shush. Not going to let him pull the trigger. Very nicely done there. In the end, they got the job done, Moses. But uh, leading up to it, it was looking a little scary there. Yeah, it, got, it was a little dicey. They gave him uh, all the 1v1s he wanted. And uh, fair play to Buster. He had to get aggressive. He had to go peek some angles. I was worried he was just going to kind of tuck himself into a corner. But one versus four, you have to go alleviate some of the pressure by finding kills before the retake happens. He did just that, but not enough. 12 to 11. Heroic takes the lead. It's where it's dangerous, you know, for... Uh, Heroic, they need to stay focused now. This will be the true test. Now, some teams can get ahead on the map, and then they struggle to close the map out. It's a whole different beast when it's match point and you're trying to end it. You need to know, like our desk was mentioning, right? Have that killer instinct. Just get the job done. Well, at the moment, through the two maps that we've seen, I, I'm much, I'm much more believing in the killer instinct of Heroic rather than, rather than Virtus Pro's ability to grind out these games the way they did in the in the previous stages of the major. Ooh. I don't think Virtus Pro showed me that same kind of level, that same kind of fortitude. Really, really violent exchange. Down, down low. Yekandar at just a third HP, 30 health. Yeah, Buster getting tagged up as well. That was uh, unpleasant. 
But now VP going to go for the rotate. Now that they've shown a little bit of presence around the map, they have kept it honest here, Virtus Pro. But they've elected to gather up, and it's looking like it's going to turn into the hit. They don't have that much utility to work with. Just a couple of smokes. Three now. And a handful of flashes. And it's just straight out onto the side. Kaden with a nade in hand. Going to get caught, and somehow he survives. Five on five retake still possible here for Heroic. That would be tremendous. Oh, that would be huge. Big kill. If they can actually take out Yekandar, they need it. Heroic, two players on the flank. Shush Sh and refresh. Good kill from Kadian. He's got one more. He spams him down to the board. Oh, and great damage on the Buster as well. Kadian's making this doable, but Yekandar is still in play. Yekandar on the flank can make all the difference here for Virtus Pro. He's hoping to catch somebody out on the rotate in mid. Not going to find anybody just yet. This is buying valuable time, though. It's keeping one of these Heroic players stuck here, having to watch for him. They knew he was out there, and now this is going to make it so difficult. But at some point, Heroic have to go. They're down half their time on this bomb, and Yekinder's rotating around. It's a three-on-three. Three. They need to get on it and start tapping this bomb. Out in the open, Tinker's going to take him, and it's a one-for-one one trade. Blit is going to be the long con, though, with the bomb smoked. It is not enough. Excellent round coming up for Virtus Pro, tying it up 12-12. to 12. Yeah, plant position makes that, that shot into the smoke uh, very, very easy to line up. And good flank from Yekandar as well. You're right, that, that ate so much time off the clock for that retake to be come in and be really, truly dangerous. Wrapping all the way around as well. Plenty of time to do it, and a uh, timeout is called by Heroic. You some mentioned shaky it. Hands there, some shaky hands there. Yeah, you mentioned a couple times throughout this win streak, like, winning rounds is great, but four of the, four of the five rounds they've won on this streak have only had two players surviving, so Heroic has no cash flow built up of any kind. Yeah. They're going to invest everything they have here. They're right on the edge. Some utility is going to come out. No kits quite yet. And Shush is relegated to a P250. Oh, now, yeah, that's going to be just... Uh, you're really just going for the stretch. But Shush, always the team player. He's the guy who does take these hits for Heroic when they need it. Well, now Virtus Pro again back into the basics. As we get the nade protocol from Heroic in mid, slowing things down. Virtus Pro are going to have to wait for those to clear up before they can get it in here and fight. And in the meantime, James boasted up, looking deep. Got to be careful, though. Flash over the top. James not going to commit. This is that standoff between the two. Stumbling with the peek for info. Did not see anybody. It's a question of whether or not Heroic are going to try playing aggressive or not. Although, as I say that, Shush is rotating hard off the A-bomb side. They're leaving it to Kadian. Four players fixing to be on this A side. Here's the gamble from Heroic because they don't have that much money. They have to go and make a play. And VP might run headlong into this. Oh, they are. They're not, maybe not running headlong, but maybe walking right into it. Buster leading the way, flits behind him. Do they want to execute or do they want to have a contact play? Do they want to try and catch this defense off guard? There's a smoke. Oh, Refresh goes down. Tessis tucked himself into a corner. Sound's going to get a double from the other side. And that allows Tessis to push forward. A third kill. And Heroic Defense delivers again. Stown delivers again. What a monster. Again, he shows up. Shush chiming in. Only had the P250. Does help out. Now there's going to be the quick rotation. But Kadian's already going to be in position to deal with this. 30 seconds. So Virtus Pro still have a little bit of time to work with. Yeah, Kadian, there's the flash over the top. It took a little bit of time, but he gets the kill. And it's all on Yekinder now. Shush, oh, just lurking on the edge of the smoke. Catches him out. 13 to 12, heroic back in the lead. So much of Virtus Pro's attack is heading towards this B bomb site, and they have not had success there. Like, Tessas has shut him down twice. Stown has now shut him down. Kadian's had good rounds on that side of the map as well. They're just not having access to this B bomb site, and I don't think they've done enough really to switch it up and throw some other looks. Attack A, you know, get, get some success over at A, take some control in mid, force a rogue to not be able to just have such a solid defense there, have some success elsewhere, and come back to the B bomb site later. Right. But you're running out of time for that. That's the scary thing. Nice flash, and oh, pretty much trying to go for the play. He's not quick enough, though. Flit once again. He's been so strong. 23 kills, both him and Jane right now, split in the top of the pack. There's the man advantage for Virtus Pro in an all important round to keep them in this second map. Heroic's map pick. But Heroic had a strong first half. And well, if they keep making plays like that and having them go against them, it's going to get uh, dangerous pretty quick here for Heroic. They're shifting everyone over to A. They're, they're just, you Hard know. Hard gamble. Yeah. Well, and you also know Virtus Pro is going to slow play it as their style is, especially in a five on four. 
Flip picks one off in mid. Kadian's able to pick it right back up. Good shot from Tessa's back into a three on three. And now we have Buster investigating over at the B-bomb site. They found it's open, but they've got to deal with Jame. If they want to get back to this side of the map, they have got to deal with this lurk. Tessus is not going to check. Kadian is going to believe it's clear. He's going to go down. He pays for the lack of checking, and Tessus does eventually get it into a two-on-two -two we go. And look at his teammate, Shush, so far away right now. Bomb gets planted, and he is still hot-footing it over here, trying to get into position to help his teammate out. And Tessa's changing it up. This is a must spin, and he does it. Shush coming through with the kill. 2v1. It's on Buster now. And Heroic are closing in. The bomb is about halfway ticked. They're starting to run a little low on time here. Heroic, they need to maneuver, and they're sticking with the buddy system. I love it. They're going to put themselves in a position to trade the kills. It's all about spacing now. Buster hearing the footsteps, knows which way they're coming from, and he's trying to play the angle. Gets the one kill, and he's going to get the second. Buster shuts him down. 13-13, tied up. We are not going away just yet, Moses. Buster had that 1v4 earlier. That was a good performance. But boy, did Virtus Pro need someone on this team to win a clutch. Heroics had a couple of big ones, a couple of great retakes as well. Virtus Pro needed some life, and Buster's provided it. Great off angle, using the pillar perfectly to allow his aim to reset. That's textbook. And he has the angle advantage at the end there. That is just beautiful. Tessis is wondering, why didn't he swing right instead of left? It's just all of these sorts of little micro decisions. And now the third tactical timeout getting called here by Heroic, who once again find themselves in a position to force by. This, this round is everything. This half has been so ugly for Virtus Pro, but despite all of that, they still have a chance. If they can win this round, break the money of Heroic, who are buying with everything they have, you've got, I think, three M4s will likely be the end. A scout on Shush as well. Heroic putting everything into this, and that if, if Virtus Pro wins this round, they're up 14-13 and Heroic have no money. They're, they're looking like they'd be able to take us to Inferno as a deciding map, which would be excellent. Would it not? Exactly. Then we get Inferno as a decider? That's just the way it's supposed to be. It's just the way it's supposed to be, Moses. Inferno as a third. Here we go, Heroic. They're going to be hard-pressed here. Virtus Pro wastes no time at all. Walk onto a B bomb site that's wide open. I, this is, this is dicey. Heroic, oh, that kill is huge. That might actually convince them to come over to this bomb site and retake it entirely to actually go for this round. All five players here. And Heroic's gonna begin. Tessus delivering again a great dink onto Yekendar. Yekendar getting headshot. Refresh trying to do some damage here. He's got that 5-7, putting some shots through that smoke. Tessus, so ready for it! Flit's gonna find one, and James as well. It's still tight here between both of these teams. It's a three-on-three. -three. Heroic trying to stick together. Maximum firepower, but they line up and James sprays them. They line up in the end, Moses. They were too excited about taking the fight. They had to get on the plan as well. There were no kits for Heroic. They had to get on that early. And I think that initial kill from Tessas pulls them into the bomb site and allows VP to wipe everything away. That is crazy. I, I thought there was a world in which Heroic just called a save because they had no money in the five on five and they threw everything at it. They saw an opportunity and it backfires. Virtus Pro with the chance to get to 15 and that'll give them two opportunities to close out Ancient. Yep, and I guess exactly that. Are we gonna go to overtime? Are Heroic showing that they are mortal after all? After that performance on Mirage? Buster, that's a nice angle. He's got his teammate there to support him as well. Heroic wasting no time at all with this setup. I like it a lot. Why faff about? Just get the eco round out of the way. We've mentioned uh, so many times, Jame and Flit, how much work they're putting in for Virtus Pro. Buster has climbed the scoreboard as well. 28 kills on Jame, 25 on Flit, 23 on Buster. On the heroic side of things, it's Shush with 21 and Tessas with 20. And that can be the, you know, the, that can actually be the difference maker when everybody is is solid. You know, but who is the who is that ultimate star that's coming in? Get those big rounds for you. Virtus Pro have had a couple now. And well, let's see. I mean, this is still just going to be Cadian kind of lurking around here, hoping that somebody's going to be unwittingly walking into his crosshairs. And as far as uh, VP are concerned, they've found their way out. They're not going to take any risks. There's absolutely no reason to donate an AK to their opponents. One shot headshot is the last thing that they want. Little bit of a toasty finish to that round. And let's get into it. Virtus Pro, map point, hoping to take this to a third map on Inferno, and that would be the true test for both of these teams. Going the distance on land. 
at the major. <laughs> Terrific. But here we go. Countdown is in, and we've got the nades. We've got the rifles. No AWP for Cadian. Didn't quite have the money to do it. No kits either is going to make this very tense. They can afford to make no mistakes now, Heroic. They have to get it done. They have to shut BP out. And there's the start. Tessus. How does he find shame? Oh, look, there's a chance to trade it right back. Yes, and Dar, he's so deadly. Cadian is going to fall back, but Refresh has no cover. He has no ability to get away inside the smoke. He somehow finds it. He will go down eventually, but he did everything he could. Tessus falls next. Buster. Buster finds him around the edge of the smoke. What a hero. What a hero. Without that kill, now that the plane coming in. Stout, going to catch one looking the wrong way. I think it's going to make all the difference there. Instead, it is going to be traded. Buster takes him out, and so it's back into a two on two. It's tit for tat since the start of the round. This has been so chaotic, and there's no way, there's no way if you're heroic that you can read what the endgame is quite yet. You haven't figured anything out. Cadian has pushed on mid. I don't know if you can hear those footsteps. If, know, if it is, it's on the limit, and you do see Shush starting to work his way back. He was heading towards B, and now he's going towards A. The timing on this flank from Cadian can just seal this round. It's all up to that. Buster has no HP to get into this duel. Knife is out. Oh my god, they didn't see each other. They didn't see each other? They didn't see each other at all. Cadian's going to rotate all the way around, and he has no idea how perfect that flank might have been. Unreal. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. And now Shush is going to get caught out in the open. Kicker it with the drop on him. Cadian, this is going to be so difficult. One bullet does the trick, though. 1v1 versus Buster versus Kicker for it all. Virtus Pro could force the third map here, and it's all on Kicker's shoulders. Cadian with the spray, and he can't get it done. 16, 13.